What's up guys, Isaac Walton for Hunting the River King taking a look at the Ekin H9 4K Ultra HD action camera today. Yet another super budget priced affordable action camera. Um, recently I took a look at the SJ7000, this one is even cheaper, um, coming in at just about $58 through GearBest, also available on Amazon and a few other websites. Big feature here that's really being promoted is the ability to film at 4K as well as 2K for a steal. $58 to do that, it's crazy. Now, is it actually very useful? Well, we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, just a few of the features here, I'm comparing the size of it to the Get Up action camera next to it, and also the very popular SJ4000. Take it out of its waterproof case that it comes included with, and you'll see that the Ekin um, H9 is almost identical to the SJ4000. Look at that. Um, very same shape, um, similar buttons. Well, this is the power button or mode button on the front. Has our recording button on the top, same with the SJ4000. Flip them around, and the big difference you'll start to notice, which is becoming more common on these um, action cameras that use the SJ4000 body style or the GoPro body style, is the much bigger screen on the Ekin. It's about two inches. Does mean it gobbles up a little bit more battery life. Uh, that's something to notice. Same thing with the SD slots on the side here. All right, so here we got the two cases side by side. Right here, the case for the Ekin, and over here, the case for the SJ4000, which is basically the same case used for the SJ7000 and SJ5000. I was able to fit the Ekin into the SJ4000 case. Fits in really easily, no problems there. Only issue is when you close it tight, some of the power buttons do tend to push on the recording section, um, and it makes it record on its own, which isn't too cool. Ekin case, you'll notice that it uses just a single spring. However, it is pretty waterproof, um, and it's, uh, it snaps on quite tightly. Buttons on the case, very easy to press, much better than some of the default SJ4000 uh, action camera cases. The Ekin also comes not only with a waterproof case, but also with several other accessories, including handlebar mounts, a few adhesive pads, a few other mounting options, pretty much the standard stuff you'll see with a lot of the um, action cameras right now. Um, great set of uh, accessories, pretty much all you need to go out there and get started. Plus, it is GoPro mount compatible, as you can see from those two points there, allowing you to mount it with all the um, off-the-label chest mounts, head mounts, waterproof mounts, etc. When you go ahead and boot up the camera, you'll give, uh, get a few options here. First one is video recording. Second one is taking photos. You can take up to a 12 megapixel wide angle, um, 170 degrees. Then you can do an actual burst mode, which is pretty nice. And then a timer mode or a um, sort of delayed picture mode here. You can adjust the settings to be several seconds apart. Go into the options. And then you'll notice there, there's no playback mode. That's very strange, something I wasn't too happy with. Uh, there are is a playback app you can download and use, but I'd much rather just be able to view them on the camera itself. I'm not sure why you can decide not to include it. Otherwise, the settings are pretty similar to SJ4000. Um, when you get into the menu option, you're able to adjust it to turn off the date and time both on the photos and the video, something the SJ7000 doesn't let you do. When I'm looking here at video resolution, I can then choose 4K at 10 FPS, 2.7K at 15 FPS, 1080p at 60 FPS, 1080p at 30 FPS, a lot of options here. Going down a little bit further, you can also adjust it to 720p at 120 FPS and 720p at 60 FPS. So 720p at 120 FPS, great for that slow motion action shot you're trying to get. Now going back to the 4K option, because like I said earlier, the Ekin is the cheapest camera on the market that offers a 4K recording option. It's not that usable, unfortunately. At 10 FPS, unless you're using it for like a security camera type setting, you're really going to notice kind of a jagged, um, sort of laggy uh, motion artifact in the pictures. And you'll see that in my sample footage I have coming up. 2.7K at 15 FPS, a little bit more usable, but still you really need basically 30 FPS for video footage to be usable and to be something people on YouTube will actually appreciate. Anything else, you're going to have a little bit laggy. So the 4K option is great. The footage from it is really clear, really crisp, and looks great, but it's just not usable for most recording options. Now going down to the 1080p um, at 60 FPS, that's an area where it really breaks ahead of the SJ4000 or SJ7000 cameras that I've reviewed in the past. Um, the footage looks fantastic. There's a few areas where I feel like the colors are a little washed out and could be crisper. But take a look at our uh, sample footage I'll have here just in a few seconds and get an idea for yourself. Um, overall, very solid footage. Photos are not that great. SJ4000 definitely takes better photos. 
I'm not sure why the image sensor on this one seems to have the same issue that the get up action camera has where the photos just turn out, don't turn out very well but the video itself is great and if you want to just screenshot or um, grab a still frame from the video you'll get a much better photo. So with that being said, really cheap price, um, offers 4K but it's not too usable, does offer 1080p at 60fps, it is quite usable, has a, uh, quite a few accessories that it comes with, um, very compact, case is waterproof, seems to work very well. Um, overall a pretty solid camera, has a few downsides as far as photos that aren't too hot, um, and no playback mode unless you use an app to sync with it, which is an option. Let's take a look at the actual footage from it so you guys can get an idea of what to expect with the Ekin H9. 4K Ultra HD Alright everyone, so we've seen some of the sample footage from the Ekin uh, H9 4K Ultra HD action camera. Pretty solid footage, um, it's not going to be on par with GoPro, but most people won't tell the difference there. There's a few areas with contrast and lighting that I think could be improved where the Get Up action camera or the Blackview Sport does a better job. Definitely footage that's on par or better than the SJ4000 or SJ7000. I think you're getting more into the SJ5000 range, which is kind of the second line um, camera after the SJ4000. Um, it's not really on par with the Xiaomi Yi, but this does have a wonderful um, playback, not so much a playback screen, but a viewing screen on the back. Do wish it had a playback option on the camera itself. Maybe a future software update could address that, because I think the capability is certainly there. Uh, for the price right now, this is definitely a killer camera. Don't get it for the photos. Photo quality isn't that great. Don't get it expecting to use a 4K option. While it is a neat kind of side gimmick, the really um, good footage is with the 1080p at 60 FPS. Overall, a killer deal at just a little bit under 60 bucks. Comes with a waterproof case um, and with a view screen on the back. It's the Ekin H9 Ultra HD action camera. Take a look at it here. I hope you enjoyed the review. Take care, guys.